Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hey Shady Lady, and today we're going to do a really short, simple tutorial on how you can get alerts set up on your stream using OBS and stream elements. And just a short channel update, next Wednesday, April 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be live here on my YouTube channel for my April Q&A. Uh, I missed it in March. I've been a little struggling with my schedule, coming out of a burnout, so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, and there's gonna be some minor changes going on around the channel and how I approach everything, which I'll talk about more in the live stream next week. I've also begun doing subscriber stream reviews in my Discord server, and if you would like to join, the link is in the description box below. We do that the Friday following every monthly Q&A session, so we'll be having one next Friday, April 8th at around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for subscribers on Twitch, Coffee, or the $5 tier here on YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the meat of today's video. If you don't know what alerts are for Twitch, it's whenever someone follows you, donates money, subscribes, sends sends you bits, hosts, or raids your channel, you can include a pop-up on your screen that will showcase what is happening. And this is often accompanied by a sound effect of some kind and cute animated images to show off your style and aesthetic. There are many different places you can get these images from to use in your alerts. I would definitely recommend the longer you're doing Twitch, the more serious you're taking it and the larger you grow to have the rights to the images that you're using. So there are going to be a couple of different tools that we're going to be using today to do this. The first, of course, is your broadcasting software. I will be using OBS. You could also be using Streamlabs OBS. There are very minor differences in how these programs work, um, but if you follow along with an OBS tutorial, you should be able to get Streamlabs OBS to function as well. The second tool is going to be the service that provides the alert pop-up. Some people choose to use Streamlabs. Another option is Stream Elements. These are the two most well-known services that will allow you to add alerts to your stream. I'm sure there are plenty of others. For today, I I'm going to be sticking with stream elements. And the third tool is actually the sponsor of today's video, which is Place It, and that is where I will be getting our alert from to incorporate into this. So I think the best place to begin is by finding the alert that you wanna use. This could be any type of image. It could be an animated GIF. It could be an alert that you've commissioned from someone. It could just be your favorite reaction GIF. It doesn't have to be anything specifically. It's just whatever you want to pop up on your screen every time someone follows or hosts or subscribes or anything like that. So I would recommend keeping it somewhat short and not taking up too much of the screen space or being too much of a distraction. So if you would like to use Place It, they make design for your brand easy by providing access to hundreds of different templates from animated logos to starting soon screens. They do have some free options available, although it is a subscription service or a one-time fee for some of the graphics. If you use the link below in my description panel, you will get 15% off any purchase. For an alert for today's video, I've gone on to Place It and I'm I'm going under the gaming category, under highlights and animated logos. And if you drop down this little search bar over here on the left, you can change it to free options. So we're gonna go to the first one here, which gives you a little animated character. And we're gonna click edit template right here. This will take us to the place where you can actually edit this together. And this by itself is very cute. I prefer adorable kawaii more femme styles. So over here in this corner, I did just search the keyword cute and there's a little animated kind of cheerleader character. So what I like to do with these animated logos is make the text match what the alert is going to be for. This is going to be our follower alert. So we'll put new follower. Now you can see when this pops up, it's going to say new follower. At the bottom, you could either delete this text outright or you could make it say something suiting to your brand. So like, welcome to the cozy forest. Something cute that matches what your brand is. And I'm going to change the background color so that we can chroma key green screen this out when it pops up. So let's go to swatches and pick a obvious green color that will be good for green screening. And if you're someone who uses a lot of green in your branding, you could pick a background color that is it's not used at all in the alert elsewhere. So if you chose like a really bright pink magenta, you could chroma key out that pink instead. So after you've customized your alert to the color palette and the font choices that you want, making sure that the text is matching whatever the alert is, whether it's new follower, new subscriber, honestly, you could just go ahead and take out that second line of text because it could be a little bit distracting since we're going to be adding their username to it as well. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Place it does allow you to add audio if you would like. You can click down here to replace the audio. I'm going to mute it personally because I already have alert sound effects saved that I want to use. And in order to save this from Place it, you have to play it first, let it load in, and then download it. Super cute. A little cheerleader with their finger guns up. I like it. So I'm going to free download the full video over here on the left. Free download. Sometimes it might pop up in very small text underneath the blue button to do the free download. So just be, be watchful for it. 
it. Now that we have our logo picked out, we're going to go over to streamelements.com. If you're not already registered with Stream Elements, you'll want to set up an account, give it access and authorization to your Twitch account. And on the left-hand bar, you'll want to drop down under streaming tools and come to my overlays. This is where we're going to create an overlay that will be a browser source that we add into our OBS that will actually show the alerts. You can see I already have several created. I'm going to make a new one for the sake of this tutorial. So you'll click new overlay in the top right corner, stick with the 1080p resolution. Now we're going to add a widget over here on the left and we're going to come under alerts and we're going to do an alert box for this. This is how to add an alert box to your stream. And you can see we have this little box. I'm just going to keep this up in the little corner up here and we're going to start customizing this. You'll see over here on the left that there's follow alert, subscriber alert, tip, cheer, host, raid, purchase alert. You will have to go into every single individual one and update these manually for how you want them to appear depending on what action is happening on your stream. I'm not going to go over all of these with you today. I'm going to show you how to do one. So we're going to go into follower alert by clicking the cog wheel right here to edit it. And we're going to set the image or change the video. If you have a static image or a .gif, .jpg, .png, you're going to set image. We have an MP4 video from place it. So I'm going to change video. We're going to upload up here above my head, bring in that MP4 video. Now this is still going to have the green background. We're not going to green screen it out until we get into OBS. So let's select this video. And just so we can see what it looks like right now, you come down to emulate down here at the bottom. We're going to click follower event and see it's got that little chirping sound effect. If you would like to change the sound, there's a default that comes in with stream elements, or you can upload a sound right here on the left by clicking upload sound and choosing your own file that you've either created yourself or downloaded from somewhere. We're going to emulate that one more time and see what this looks like. You can see that the name pops up way before the actual alert pops up. So we can adjust this as much as we want. Christina is now following or name is now following. You can change this text to whatever you would like. So we could say welcome in name exclamation mark. Welcome in Heidi, new follower. And we can also change how the name itself actually pops up. We can make it appear to the right of the alert or overlaid on top of the alert. This will vary depending on what your actual alert looks like. There are some alert boxes where you need to overlay it on top so that it fits in the dimensions of where the name should be. Here is alert duration and you can change how long it stays on screen. I typically find between five and 10 seconds is the best. The less distracting it is, the better for the overall show of the stream. So depending on how large you have this showing up on your screen, it can be very distracting and could even sometimes block really key parts of your gameplay, which is not fun if you're trying to clip that for later. You you can set a maximum length for usernames. The only reason you would need to do this is if your alert is a certain width and you don't want it to expand past a certain parameter. You can enable custom CSS if you want to really get in and mess with the settings yourself. That's a little more advanced, so we're not going to worry about that for now. Down here we have variation settings and you can add new variations. This is something that is going to be definitely more advanced, but you can create a different look for your alert depending on all kinds of different things. If somebody cheers a one bit versus cheers a hundred bits or a thousand bits, you can change the alert pop up and the sound effects. This could get a lot of fun and it could definitely incentivize people to donate certain amounts or gift certain amounts of subs. We're not going to worry about variations for now though. TTS settings is text to speech. So this is whenever someone subscribes or donates or follows and it will read their message out loud on screen. I never enable this because it is way too easily trolled and people can make it say very heinous things. It is up to you if you decide to add this or not, but you can adjust the volume, change the different person's voice and have a delay on when that TTS loads in. Now we're going to get down into text settings. This is where you change the font, the font size, font color, and everything like that. Now the highlight color is the color of the actual name. So I'm going to stick with that color that I just picked and you can change the animation style. I do like pulse, but there's a lot of different ones here that you can experiment with. Now that we have our new color, we can see that it's this nice little uh, peachy color that matches my actual alert. Okay. That's all of the stuff that we can update for text. But if you scroll back to the top here, you can see there's advanced. Advanced will let you mess with the margins, which lets you move around where the actual text is loading in. You can see right now it's got a negative 50 margin from the top. Let's see what happens if we change that to negative 200. Now it's going to pop up right in the center. So if you were to mess with that, you can kind of adjust where it appears on the alert and some alerts, you'll definitely want to come into the advanced settings and mess with those margins. So that's all that I want to do for the text settings. And the final thing is animation settings. I really like to play with the animation settings so that the, the word itself will pop up at the appropriate moment for the animation of the alert. First of all, there's an enter animation, and this is just changing in how the font itself pops into the 
screen. Remember, our entire alert is happening in six seconds. So the fade in and fade out should happen pretty quickly. So the alert is visible on the screen for a bit. I'm going to do a nice fade in and fade out. And you can see it kind of has that gentle fade, gentle fade out. And now that the text animation set settings, we can change so that when the text comes in, I want to show y'all one just so you can kind of get a feel. We'll do a light speed in and we'll make this take uh, two seconds as well. And we'll do a bounce out and we're going to fade in overall. We've got that light speed coming in and then the fade out with the bounce out of the text. We also have text appearance delay, which is definitely something I want to turn on. If we watch this alert, you'll notice it takes the alert about a solid second to pop up on screen and say new follower. I want welcome in to with their name to appear after that alert has already fully come onto screen. I'm going to guess it's probably about a good, we'll say two seconds before I want the text to appear. Now let's take a look at how two, a two second delay on that looks. So we have the alert pop up and then the person's name fades in. That actually looks great. Text disappearance offset, it makes it so that it disappears before the whole alert disappears. That is our animation. That's everything we wanna get set up for our follow alert. Now that I have the alert created and set up in stream elements, I'm going to come above my head and I'm gonna click the save button. And we're gonna name this alert box. We'll click save. And now up in the top right corner, there's a little link thing. We need this. This is the way that you get it added to OBS. We're gonna click copy overlay URL up here and you'll see in the bottom right corner, it says copied to clipboard. Now we have to bring this into OBS. So now I'm gonna have to take y'all to the twilight zone with me so I can show y'all how to add this. You can see down here in my left, I have my scenes and in the right, I have my sources. After you've created your scene, let's Let's say that this is our just chatting scene that we're in. We're going to right click in this section or push the plus button down here. Either one works. And we're going to add a browser source. That's going to pop up this new window. We'll call this also our alert box. And then it pops up another window for us. This is not a local file. This is a URL that we're pulling from stream elements. So we're going to paste that link that we just copied from stream elements right here. You don't necessarily need to mess with the width and height. Sometimes you may find that this is necessary to mess with those dimensions. I don't think that I'm going to need to for this. And we don't really need to mess with anything else. Sometimes it may be beneficial to do shutdown source when not visible if you're struggling with your memory or RAM. But as far as it goes, that's all I need to do. I'm going to click OK. The alert is technically added. You can see it right here in this red outline. But there's one more thing we want to do. I'm going to give us a split screen here so that we can see it pop up in OBS and also how I'm doing that over on stream elements. So in order to see how it looks, you come back over to stream elements, you click emulate and follower event. You can now see it pop up on my OBS over here on the left. That's how you can test it on your overlay to make sure it looks right. So anytime you see that alert popping up while I'm testing this for you, you're going to know that I'm pressing emulate follower event over on stream elements. There it goes. Now you can see it's got the green background. Now we're going to chroma key that out. So let's come back over to the alert box. We're going to right click on this and we're going to go into filters down here at the bottom. It's going to pop up a new box for us. We're going to come down into effect filters on the bottom left. Click the plus or right click and add and we're going to do a chroma a key. Keep the title the same if you want to. You could either keep it on green or you could go into custom and pull that exact hex code. Or if you're someone who used a pink or a magenta, this is where you would change the color to the background you made of your alert so that it will green screen it out. We'll click close on this. That should completely chroma key it. So I'm going to come back over to stream elements and emulate a follower event. And let's see. Now it is beautifully green screened out. You can see it's a little small. So I'm actually going to stretch it out and make it a little bit bigger up here. Welcome in Minerva. Thank you so much for the follow. And now you've got a cute free alert that can match your colors and branding. And that is using an online resource, something like Placeit, which again, there's a 15% discount link in my description box below if you'd like to go through Placeit. Or you could use an image, a GIF, favorite reaction image, or your own logo, or something you've designed in Photoshop or in Canva. There are so many options for you to be able to make these. Don't psych yourself out on all of the different things there are to customize. And you can save yourself a little bit of work if you go through a website like Placeit or commission someone or just buy a couple of dollar one off of Etsy, you can save yourself a lot of work and stress in the beginning. There's so many different things to customize and set up as a beginner streamer. Don't overthink it. <laughs> Take it a step at a time. Alert boxes and the fancy special alert designs are frill and fluff. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that you hit go live and stream. <laughs> so if you don't have your alert boxes, if you don't have your Twitch panels, that's okay. You can still go live. 
five and make it your goal for the week. Like this week, I'm going to update my Twitch panels. And then the following week, this week, I'm going to get my alert box finalized. That's how I'm doing a full rebrand and recolor across all of my panels and graphics. And uh, I'm taking it a step at a time, doing a little bit every day and just trudging through it. It takes time. You can't rush yourself. I think that that will wrap up today's video. Um, thank you all so much for your patience with me while I'm not being consistent with my schedule at all. I And while I'm also like experimenting and trying out how I want to do YouTube exactly, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Just a reminder, next Wednesday, I'm going to be live streaming my Q&A session for April around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Friday, April 8th will be my April sub only stream review where I sit down with y'all in Discord and look at your streams and give some feedback. It is a first come first serve. So make sure you're subscribed either on my Twitch, Coffee, or the $5 tier here on YouTube. Join my Discord server linked in the description box below. And I suppose that's it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'm going to be working on an OBS tutorial and OBS for dummies that I talked about a couple of months ago. Now that I've actually gotten into OBS and redesigned my stream using it, I feel more comfortable teaching it. So if you have any questions specific to OBS that you'd like me to go over, please drop a comment below and let me know. I'm going to aim to have that out in the next two weeks or so. So wish me luck. Thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.